Oh, you see that? Bruh. Oh, there we go. Oh, I need to take another sip of my drink. Whoa. Uh, yo, I don't know if he's trying to turn or what, because I feel pressure in my ribs, too. Oh, the kick. Like, what is that? I guess his feet and he's trying to flip over. <gasps> Dude, that felt so freaky. It's like he's kicking off the wall on this side. It literally feels like he's like walking on that side. Are you serious right now? That is so funny. Okay, he's kicking so hard that I can see the blanket moving. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I felt something right here. Go here. I like that it had directions too because I bought TV before that had like no directions. I'm like, how hot, how long, how low, like, can you give me something? <laughs> That's good enough, right? 32 weeks prego. I'm actually 32 weeks and then 32 weeks, three, two days. So actually that's not bad at all. I was supposed to start on Wednesday, but it's Friday, and I'm starting today instead because we never made it to Butler to get it. But, you know, you can start on 32 weeks on the dot. It doesn't really matter. Can you see guys toy? I think he's occupied. But, yeah, so basically, I got my labor ball, like, a couple weeks ago. I don't do it every day. I plan on doing it every day when I get to, like, 36 weeks or so. But right now, I'm just like, whenever I feel like it, or I feel like my legs or hips or back hurt more than usual, I'll get on there and do it. But I haven't been consistent with that. And yeah, so right now, I'm just starting my tea. Next week, I start the perineal massage. And then um, tomorrow's my last day at my job. So I'm going to be walking every day so that I can still stay like in shape because I get tired at my job, so I feel like it kept me pretty, like, in shape, I guess. But since I'm going to be out of work, or not working, I'm going to be doing little just walks around the neighborhood, or I could even go to the gym that we have to walk because it's very hot. <laughs> so uh, I could see myself walking in the gym on the treadmill instead of 
walking in the heat. At the 32 week appointment, he was about five pounds, not fully there. I wish I had remembered the number. I thought they were gonna send me the details under the labs, but they didn't for some reason. So he was like, I wanna say like 4.7. So he was almost five pounds. And they labeled him as the 54th percentile. So he's 50, he's bigger than 54% of babies his age. So like, he's big. Um, so I'm just, uh, <laughs> try, I'm doing everything I can to prepare. But if he ends up just being like a really big baby and they do another um, sonogram and see that, that he's like massive, then they might have to do a C-section or something or have him come early, which I don't want that to happen. But we'll see. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully he's just like seven pounds or something like that, something normal. And, you know, uh, that it works out because I really want to do all of my stuff to prepare so that I could push him out. Because, you know, if I do all this and I have a C-section, it's like I did it to prepare to push. But if I can't push, it's like, mm. but oh, well, I've always wanted to drink my tea and do all my stuff, so. Don't know why he's licking my foot. Frosty. Without anything added to it, I'm just gonna try it as um, plain, nothing, no sugar. It just tastes like tea. There's not really anything to it. I might add some sugar. I could definitely drink this every day as is with a little bit of sugar and agave. But people were like, adding lemonade and juice and whatever to make it tolerable i guess people don't like tea but i, I don't mind it oh something hurts down there <laughs> i don't know what oh. uh. i'm having like pains and i'm not really sure um what they are he's about to get kicked out if he keeps barking at me Anyways, I'm getting ready for bed. Have my raspberry leaf tea. I'm drinking it every other day right now. One time every other day. I'm about to do my oil and then my butter. And then I put a big t-shirt on and that's my pajamas. But my belly button hurts. It's almost gone. It hurts and it itches. It feels really weird. Um. Doing, I'm on day eight. So I'm gonna listen to this while I do that. So. <laughs> my tummy is fully out. Look, when I turn around, you can't even tell. Well, actually, I don't know. I've never seen myself from behind because I don't have eyes in the back of my head. But it's like, you know, bam. I just recorded a video to see my pajamas and you literally, if you were behind me, you wouldn't know I was pregnant. If I was just standing there, you have no idea. And then I turn around and it's like, damn, you know? I feel like my belly doesn't look that big on camera right now, but it, it's big, I swear. It hurts, my belly button hurts and my stomach itches all over. Because um, he's getting big tonight. Because I'm bigger than I was last week. And my stomach is itching so bad from my skin stretching. And I could feel him like pushing out. So we'll see. I mean, hopefully I'm even bigger by Saturday. Because that's so cute. But uh, it hurts. Like that's so creepy. Ah. It's only been seven minutes. You're, you're moving around so much, but it's not showing up good on the video. Oh man, you have hiccups and I don't think you're happy about it. Maybe you can see that.
just sitting together. <laughs> you kicked my hand. That was cute. I don't know if you can see it. You're moving. Seven more weeks till I get to meet you. Approximately. You can come at any time, really, but... Most likely in seven weeks. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. We're moving around like crazy. Yeah. Hey guys, I believe it's July 26th or the 27th. I really have no idea. Such a big bump now. Um, I have a lot of stains on my shirt because we got too long on it and uh, I just let it spill all over me because I was like, whatever. Like, I don't care right now. I was just trying to eat because I was hungry. Anyways, I can't get over my bump. So cute. This is his room. It got a little crazy quick. It was already a bit of a mess because I just haven't gotten around to being organized and whatever. I think I'm going to clean a little bit. I have six weeks. Um yeah <laughs> i usually get this show on the road this is zero to three months three to six six to nine and then all the swaddles and blankets all his books postpartum supplies my laundry that was th thrown on top and then i opened the bottle warmer i always stuck it there I was just testing it out with the bottle I had. And then the sterilizer I left in there. I'm going to set it up in the kitchen once I have the kitchen cleaned. And then his bath stuff is in here. This stroller. I've gotten it out a couple times. Just like locked it down the very short little hallway we have. And I'm so excited. And then this is more stuff for the kitchen. So I haven't really gotten to that yet. And yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my back just cracked. I'm actually, this is for when he's older, so like, I'm going to put those up. This is up zero three months, zero three months. This I can put with the older boy clothes. Dude, I'm out of breath, but <laughs> I mean, can't help it. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm going to clean up. Essentially, he had a similar situation where one of his injectors was spraying like crazy, uh, and essentially all of his water was filled with fuel. Hello? On top of that, he had the same issue where the car would start for a few seconds and then yeah. stall out, but he continued to drive the car for like 300-ish miles, and guess what? His run bearings were completely fine. So I guess it's only going to be a test of time and to <laughs> So I'm getting... Um, his stuff together, kind of, organizing. I put the, I've opened ones for the size two, so I'm going to use those first, and then when I go through those, I have this box, and then I have size one is next up, and then I have the newborn ones out. I have more diapers at my mom and dad's house, but I'm kind of just getting stuff organized a little bit. Like, I still have to wash all of his stuff. But I want to have it in like the right places. So, yeah. Here we have his tub and his rinse. 
Shirley Temples, but now I'm on a little Dr. Pepper kick. But uh, I'm not drinking Dr. Pepper every day. Uh, just like sometimes when I'm at my mom's house, I could go for a Dr. Pepper right now, and I have one. All right, we got the bath stuff together at least, so that's good. And we had time to fill before the movie because we went to the doctor, checked on him, everything was amazing. And then um, we had like four or five hours to kill, so we've got ramen. And then we, he got his haircut. He, well, first he got the haircut, then we got ramen. And then we went shopping, we went to Old Navy. Or I had to. I'm not spending any more money because I quit my job and I literally have no money. I have money to buy another breast pump and that's it. And then I have literally have no money. But it's fine. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, I had to, I had to. These were $10 each and I'm obsessed. I actually also needed earrings because this one's been giving me like not like an infection, but like something. We, I just need a new earring. So, got these. I just wanted like the two bigger ones. It's not focusing. I lose. Oh, there we go. So these two, these two are these are kind of small. I like them bigger, so I'm gonna try those out and see whichever ones I like better. How cute is that? And so he's gonna be born. I really want him to be born in September. If he's in August, maybe it's fine. But. September, October, November, he could wear this and it's zero to three months. So how perfect is that? It was so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. And then I saw this one. I was like, okay, yeah, I have to get that because I don't have anything. The moon is what sold me because I was like, oh, that's really cute. And I was like, oh my gosh, it has the moon on it. I have to get it now. But how cute is that? This is my first Halloween. Oh, I love it. So yeah, I've only bought him like four outfits. I got him a blue like not striped but it's that type of like pattern on the fabric itself a striped one it has like a onesie with pants with fuggies on them and then a red bear sleeper that i saw at like marshall's we went to tj maxx <sighs> i can't breathe <laughs> we went to tj maxx before we went to old navy and all the baby clothes were ugly they weren't soft i was like ew what is this let's go let's get out of here um and I wouldn't think like to go to Old Navy like ever because like I haven't been in years and I just didn't think I was very fond of it but their baby clothes are so cute and they have matching prints of the baby stuff for like toddler size and I was like okay yeah where I start working and we have another baby 100% you can get the onesies and the matching toddler outfits for him he's a toddler oh my gosh I can't it's so cute okay I'm back it's still the same day I don't know if it's like what day it is but it's July, well, now it's July 29th. It was the 28th. Um, it's like 1 in the morning. I feel huge today. Um, my tummy is hurting a little bit. But, um, feeling a little bit like the last appointment. They, I have a bicornate uterus. Uh, so it's like heart shaped, they said. So it like dips down a little bit. Obviously a normal one's just straight across. The doctor mentioned that it's possible that I could go into preterm labor. Preterm, early term, whichever one she said. It literally just depends on baby. And I could go all the way up full term 40 weeks or even longer, you know. But just like the possibility that I could makes me go, hmm, um, okay. Like I nothing prepared like obviously i'm planning to breastfeed so like technically i don't need to have all the bottles ready to go but obviously that would be very ideal to have everything ready to go beforehand three four plus three basically that's where we're at so we have less than 60 